Good morning, friends. I have another story for you today. It's called If You Give a Cat a Cupcake by Laura Numeroff. I wonder if you've heard some of these before because there's a bunch of books in this series. The original, the first story was If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, I believe. Is that what it is? If You Give a Mouse a Cookie? Yes, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. And then there's If You Give a Pig a Party. We also have that one here. If You Give a Moose a Muffin. So it's kind of funny because as soon as you do one thing, it leads to the other thing, it leads to the other thing, and then all of a sudden they're doing some crazy things in these stories. So if you give a cat a cupcake, I'm going to read today. And the illustrator is Felicia Bond. She did a really great job with these pictures. Look at those cupcakes. They look almost like real life cupcakes. Makes me wanna bake some. All right, so if you give a cat a cupcake, if you give a cat a cupcake, he'll ask for some sprinkles to go with it. And when you give him the sprinkles, he might spill some on the floor. Sprinkles can be really, really messy sometimes. Look at that mess of sprinkles he's making right here. Boy, and his owner is like, oh my goodness, that's a big mess. I wonder if she's thinking she's gonna have to clean it up. Cleaning up will make him hot. So you'll give him a bathing suit and help and take him to the beach. To the beach, a cat in a bathing suit. My goodness, all because he's hot from cleaning up the sprinkles. He'll want you to go in the water and build a sand castle too. Then he'll look for seashells. I'm gonna turn my computer a little bit this way because there's a little bit of some sunlight peeking in the window here. There we go. All right. He'll find a few other things as well. He'll put them in his pail and try to pick it up, but it'll be too heavy and he'll decide he needs to work out at the gym. Wow, he put all those seashells in his bucket and he tried to carry all these other things that he found too. Look at all that seaweed hanging off. Oh, Mrs. Jexel does not like seaweed. First, he'll warm up on the treadmill and then he'll lift a weight or two. He might even try a karate class. Do you think you'd ever see a cat at a gym? I don't think so. Or in a bathing suit at the beach? I don't think so. So this must be fiction. This must not be a real story. After the gym, he'll want to go to the park. And when you get there, he'll see the rocks. He'll climb as high as he can go. At the top, he'll see the lake and he'll want you to take him rowing. Look at those little canoes down there, those rowboats. I'm thinking his owner is a little bit tired by now. She's been doing so much with the cat today. He'll be the captain and you'll have to row. Then he'll notice the merry-go-round and want to go for a ride. So I guess the captain gives all the orders and she just does the rowing. She has to follow directions. She must be super tired. He'll want you to go for a ride too. You'll choose the horse with the purple mane and he'll get on the whale. The whale will remind him of the science museum and he'll ask you to take him there. First, he'll find the dinosaurs. And then he'll visit the Hall of Apes. When the museum closes, you'll be the last to leave. I think he's having, where is he? He's having too much fun here. He doesn't want to go home. On the way home, you'll pass the beach. And on the way home, you'll pass by the beach and you'll help him gather all his things. Then he'll want to race you. Oh boy. It looks like his owner's carrying all the things and he's racing all by himself. I think he's gonna win. He doesn't have to carry anything. This cat has a lot of energy. When you get home, he'll empty the sand from his shoes and he might spill some on the floor. 
Oh, that kind of reminds me of the beginning of this story when he spilled sprinkles on the floor. And seeing the sand on her, the floor will remind him of the sprinkles. <gasps> He'll probably ask you for some. Oh boy, if he asks for sprinkles, what else do you think he's going to need? And chances are, if you give him some sprinkles, he'll want a cupcake to go with them. Oh boy, so if he gets a cupcake again, do you think he's going to have to go to the beach again because the sprinkles on the floor is gonna remind him of the sand and then he's gonna keep going through all that stuff all over again? Oh my gosh, he could go on forever and ever. Those are just one of those funny fiction stories that one thing leads to another and leads to another, but it was a good one to read today. So maybe you feel like baking some cupcakes today or baking some cookies or enjoying a fun treat like that later on today. Either way, I hope it's a great day and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye-bye. I miss you guys very, very much.